Hercules, 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 Hercules. We're talking about power in this video. How are y'all doing? All right. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. Help your boy out. Give it a like. All right. Microsoft has revealed their next gen system, the Xbox Series X, which I'm pretty hyped for. It looks clean, looks dope, but Phil Spencer has made a pretty bold statement, and it could shake the course of next generation. He was interviewed by GameSpot, and this is what he says. Our goal has always been to build the most powerful console we can, and I think we're there. We like leading in power and performance, and I feel like we're going to be there again. All right, for those of you that don't know, um, I really became an Xbox fan during the Xbox 360. Didn't really mess with the OG Xbox. But the Xbox 360, one of the reasons why I love the system, it had all the third-party games, and the games ran better than the PlayStation 3. And so it was a no-brainer. Last gen, I did buy both systems, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But at the beginning of the generation, I played my PlayStation 4 way more than I played my Xbox One. Why? Because not just that the system was more powerful, the PlayStation 4, and I'm paying the same price for both games, but the games looked better and ran better. Usually on the PlayStation 4, they were 1080p 60 frames per second, and on the Xbox One, they were 900p um, 60 frames per second. So if I'm paying the same exact price for the games, I was going for the most powerful system. But, and I think that's one of the reasons why Sony ran away with last generation. Um, the Xbox One was actually more expensive at launch and was less powerful. So it was a no-brainer. This gen, I see, I think um, Phil Spencer, they realize, hey, we can't, and I think he said it before that they're not going to concede the power race anymore. And according to his latest um, comments, He's saying that he feels like they're going to be leading in power this generation. And I have to say, really, at the end of the day, the games are more than likely on the PlayStation. If we buy a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, the games are going to look the same. There may be some small differences that you're probably not even going to notice. But it seems like based on all the leaks and rumors, both systems will have close to the same power. I think it's going to come down to exclusives, what exclusives each platform will have and what, it, what will appeal to the, um, to the gamers, what exclusive you gra gravitate to more. I've never been a real big fan of Sony's exclusives. I like the Ratchet & Clank games. Never been a fan of um, Uncharted series. The Sony exclusives never really did it for me, bro. Microsoft, please bring back Banjo. Y'all got Banjo. Uh, Fable 4 is lit. One of my favorite um, um, series, gaming series, of Fable 4 is lit. So, Phil Spencer, long story short, has said they feel like they're going to be leading in power again going into this generation. And y'all see just the design of the system. It just screams power. <laughs> that green thing coming from the top. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about Phil Spencer's comments that... Xbox is going to be leading in power this generation. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Hercules series was alright. He's strong though. Power.